Hello everyone, I'm Tess Thomas. I'm the media rep for Clay County Historical and Arts Council. Thank you for coming back to another Artist Spotlight. Today we're at Fort Henry Baptist Church with Pastor Harold Holbrook. To his right is Ms. Reba Beck and to his left is Jenny Arani. We're here to talk about art makers. Ms. Reba, will you tell us what happened last year in your art makers program? Well, I'd like to start out just by saying you know, how this whole idea came about. Um, I had a grant idea, uh, and I approached Pastor Harold about it, and he, he was kind enough to, to pay attention to what I was saying, but then he just changed the subject and started <laughs> and with how he wanted to do an art class. And so um, I was ready to uh, just, just uh, you know, do a U-turn and uh, get on board with what he was doing. And it, it, wor it worked out beautifully. Um, we were able to meet here at the church, uh, one day a week, and uh, our goal was to meet for 10 sessions, and I think we may have missed one of those, but for the most part, we carried through, and um, the kids were uh, signed up by their teachers at school, and, um, and, and we, we had a, a certain demographic that we, that we were looking for, but, uh, you know, in the end, we uh, were able to get 10 kids in here who were just absolutely fantastic, loved working with every one of them. Um, we had a, um, a, a sort of a plan. Miss Jenny and I worked together, and that was the absolute most wonderful part of it, I think, because uh, just she and I seemed to work so well together. Uh, we got to the point where we could finish each other's sentences. <laughs> and uh, that, so it, it was just a beautiful experience to work with her. Um, she's so experienced and, and uh, such a wonderful artist, and um, we were able to get... Um, a lot of work done. Um, I would I would make a, a, a proposal, you know, let's do this next week, and so we'd do that next week, and then we'd, you know, we just flipped it back and forth and, and worked together as that. And, and the kids um, were given the opportunity to do a um, paint along with the teacher, and um, which was absolutely wonderful. I love that because every time I could do that, I would see how each one would do their own individual interpretation. Perception. And it just turned yeah. out so beautifully. Um, we had um, a meal at the end of each session, thanks to somebody who <laughs> not only <laughs> went out and bought food, but sometimes even took orders. Nice. You know, these kids the, the, wanted. It was you know, the, the, the children are, are very particular. <laughs> yes. About what they want. I don't know if they got that from Reba or Jenny. But, <laughs> I did have to take special orders. Right. <laughs> and, and not only did we provide food, but Pastor had to serve. Yeah. Oh, so that's, yeah. that's wonderful. There's something uh, rewarding about looking out at the faces of children mm. and, and mm. serving Absolutely. them. Yeah. Not only do you get something from it, but hopefully uh, I was instilling a servant's attitude into the children to Absolutely. see uh, that they could see somebody else serving them. Absolutely. Yeah. And then at the end of the 10 week classes, um, how did you? finalized the whole class. What was the celebration at the end? Well, um, that again was uh, Pastor Harold's idea, and, and he, he and his, his church followed through with that and provided uh, a wonderful, wonderful uh, banquet at Kenton Center. Uh, each uh, child could have a table, and they could fill it up with as many relatives as they could get there. Oh, and uh, then um, we ate, and, and of course everybody loved that part of it. But uh, we um, uh, we also uh, did an auction of their work, and oh, that was the awesome. most fun. That was absolutely so rewarding to see um, the interaction between the um, some of the relatives who <laughs> wanted, wanted that particular piece of work. Oh, wonderful! Yes, yes. let's that's have a bidding war. Absolutely, that's <laughs> great. Uh, Miss Denny. Um, went ahead and, and matted all of this work. And of course we couldn't take everything that they did because some of it was just, you know, sketches and such. But we uh, were able to take a lot of their work and, and it was beautifully matted and um, it did show well, that's for sure. We have an example to your right, Ms. Reba, that we will zoom in on a little yes. at the end of the interview so you can get a better look. But um, I would like to move to Miss Jenny Urani. She is going to tell us about what our expectations are. The good news is this will be the second annual this year, 2023. So, Miss Jenny, could you tell us about what's coming up this year? Sure, thank you. 
Well, we're going to start this year's classes on Monday, April the 3rd. And it'll be basically the same format. They'll come right after school. They come in here and we will well, we pick them up. Yeah, we yes, pick them and up. the transportation is provided. And right. this is all sponsored by Fort Henry Baptist Church, I'd like to say. Pastor Harold Fulbrook, uh, I thank you for being such an advocate for children in the area and, and getting them into something that they would be so interested in and have fun doing. Um, so, Miss Jenny, uh, could you uh, tell us what the plans are? I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, me. no, that's <laughs> fine. Uh, yeah, and I was going to say, though, um, at the end, when we had the auction and all, we had a table for each child's work on display before we went in, and we had their work displayed. So, like it was actual gallery. Yeah, it, exactly. It really was. Exactly, and it looked really good, and that went well. So this year, we're basically going to do very similar, picking them up, and then they'll come here. And we're, we're going to do it, what, six or eight weeks this time? Uh, I so think it's going to be six. Right. Yes. And the, it'll be grades three through five. That's the okay. age range for it. And Reba and I have talked about this, um, that this year I'm going to try and introduce some other things into the class. And for instance, working on the color wheel for one thing, okay. and using colors. They work in acrylics, which is washable and easy to correct. And we'll also try watercolor. They'll be exposed to so that. So different mediums. Well. That's fantastic. And, uh, so it's it was a learning experience last year. Reba has a history. Her whole life has been teaching children. I had not taught children before, so. We really you know, complimented each other. Complimented yeah. each other. They did an outstanding job. That's really, fantastic. Really Reba good. had skills that I did not have at all. And I teach I teach beginning in watercolor at the folk school to people who have never painted. And ironically enough, I start out by saying, pretend you're in the third grade and it's time for art. <laughs> now you're teaching third grade. Yeah, you are. Oh, that's fantastic. Be careful what you ask. That's right. right. Exactly. So I'm excited to do it again, and I'm also, I, Reba and I talked already, and I had to say, okay, you know, at that age, you know, is the color wheel and mixing and that kind of thing, is that feasible? And she says, yeah. And I so basically, really, taking your current three primary colors and teaching them how to mix two How to mix them is what the complementary color. colors. Oh, that that's wonderful. What so, a great they, so they'll get some, you know, some other, other skills this year that they didn't get last year. And, and the other thing, the thing I personally like to stress with my students, my adults, but it starts out with kids, is to look at the world around them and see the beauty that is there in everything. Amen. So, because before you can, before you can portray the beauty of something, first you have to see it. Absolutely. And you really have, so if I could give an example of that. Sure, uh, please. This painting, is my one of my paintings, and it is of a grape leaf in a vineyard in the summertime that has been eaten by bugs. So I was out in the vines and right. saw this, and I thought it was I thought it was beautiful. Right, it almost lacy. It was yeah. like lace. So I so I did this study of it, and I called it vintage lace. Oh. But many people would walk up and down the vines mm -hmm. and they would see the bug eating things and they would never notice the beautiful shape. Right. Of Maybe they think it was less than because the bug had exactly. you know, eaten on it. When really that's the circle of life. So how exactly. wonderful to, to not only uh, notice that it is. but to focus on it. That is amazing. Yeah. That is so amazing. I'm looking forward to <laughs> what I will learn from the children this year <laughs> and what I'll be able to share with them. How are you getting your children this year? Are they being signed up by the art teachers again? Well, this, this year we have <laughs> students that have signed up again that were past oh, really? uh, last year's really? students. Nice. And they, they enjoyed it so much and their parents yeah. were so appreciative of what we were able to do. And the one thing that, that was common throughout is that the program instilled another level of confidence in their children. Oh, yeah. Um, they got to interact with other children in, in a, a neutral setting, and they said the confidence level went up. They're looking at, like uh, Virginia said, the world differently. They can't speak highly enough of Miss Reba Beck <laughs> and, and what she taught them. So we have uh, a lot of uh, people, children that have signed up again, and we're looking to expand. We're going to get three others. 
What's the total of the children in the class will be? I think we're going to have eight, eight. this yeah. year. We, we, some of them graduated out. So, because <laughs> um, we're trying to, to catch them while they're young. Absolutely. And, they're still, mm -hmm. and that's, Absolutely. You know, let them have an avenue and a way to express, express themselves. Um, so we, we actually drop down a year uh, to get them while they're a little younger. And it's easier to, to pour into somebody before they've had some things uh, set in their minds. So, sure. So we are excited. So the yeah. other seats that are still available, is there a way that they can um, apply or put their name in the hat, so to speak? Absolutely. We have applications there. There will be something on our website, which is forthembrybc.org. So that's ftembrybc.org. And we'll have an application process there so they can, they can sign up there. That's um, fantastic. And most of the children are local. And it, it works out better because we do pick them up after school. Uh, we have our, our band that will come and pick them up. Uh, they'll come here, they'll paint, they'll eat, and their parents will come pick them up. So. Okay. What a wonderful setup. And I understand that we're going to have an art gala, a dinner and auction at the end of the class. Could you tell us about that a little bit? Absolutely. So the Hinton Center graciously gave us uh, the, their venue. And we had all of the children, all of the artists, their parents, uh, local, local people from the community that came out. We had a marvelous dinner. And then we had an auction, a live auction, with an actual auctioneer. <laughs> nice. uh, you, you see these guys on television, and I really wanted to give the children something new and experience, so for them to have their art auction. As, as it would be in a regular gallery was just all, it was all striking to do. Uh, so we'll have that. Uh, last year we raised about $4,000. Oh, which, that's wonderful. And we gave each student a stipend. Uh, and the balance is used to perpetuate this program, which we have going this year. So we'll have another one. It'll be May 20th at the Hinton Center. Uh, time to be determined. And we'd like for the community to come out and support your children and see what they do. When I say your children, that's they're all our children because we're all part of this Clay County community. That's right. And and, and just bid on some wonderful art. I'm sure that, that they'll highlight these these uh, paintings uh, at the end of this this presentation. But the children are awesome, and the paintings are phenomenal. You never know. You might pay a hundred dollars for a painting that'll be worth a million next year. <laughs> Absolutely. So And uh, we're we're breeding young entrepreneurs and artists and I just cannot say enough how much I commend you guys for doing this because you're giving them an avenue to actually make an income, you know, a career out of this, especially the ones that are, you know, talented and, and I believe everyone has talent. It's just who can bring it out of them. And, and I really commend you all for bringing that talent out. That was one of the things that that was important to me was to give children a, another option. Not everybody is going to college. Not everybody might be an athlete. And we wanted to show children that your skill, what God has implanted in you, is valuable. Not just to the kingdom, but you can sustain yourself. You can have a career doing something that you love that has been placed within you. And these ladies are able to bring that out and to nourish it. And, and to and, and embody what they want to become. So they look at, at Reba and Jenny, renowned artists in their own right, and say, I can do that. So these ladies will inspire these children to say, I can do it. That's wonderful. And I agree completely. So it, it, it's, it's just awesome. And that's what that's what Fort Henry is about, is the future. And I think uh, the children that go to this class have a great future in art. If it's no more for this stress review, because we all Absolutely, have that, right? yeah. Uh, I'd like to recap again. This is Fort Henry Baptist Church, Pastor Harold, Ms. Reba Beck, and Jenny Yurani. I want to thank y'all for having me today. And please come out and support your community. Uh, May 20th at the Hinton Center. Please keep your eyes on Clay County Historical Art Council website and all of our social media accounts to find out what time it will be. Can I just in? Yes, please. Okay, uh, regarding the gal, and I've been to, like probably many people have been to, many fundraising auction events over the years and this ours was the most 
fun because the excitement of the children and of the families, you have to you know, hold up their work and they right. stand up and then get into these bidding wars. It was it was more fun. Oh. It was more fun than any other. And, and so the children were really excited Every, to see people bidding on their work. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. What a great incentive for them to continue. Oh, it yes, is. yes. It is. You're absolutely right. Right. Well, I want to thank you all for having us. Uh, Clay County Historical and Arts Council's Art Spotlight. I appreciate you all coming back and tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye. I love this painting. <laughs> it was done by a little third grader. And when she painted, she didn't have any direction. She just, that was, came out mm -hmm. of her mind. And I just fell in love with it. So, I, it's happy, it's bright, it's cheerful. I love all the colors, and yes. All the colors. And the fact that she put all those colors around it, you know, mm -hmm. the center oh, yeah. of the sun. Like an explosion of confetti. <laughs> it is. It's beautiful. It is. And this was done by a third grader at last year's uh, art makers class. Right. And it lives in my studio now. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to zoom in on this. She was talking about vintage lace. To finding the beauty in what other people may think is an everyday thing. But mm -hmm. this is a, a leaf that had been chewed on by some type of insect. And it just it looks beautiful in its simplicity. Beautiful work, Mrs. Jenny. Thank you. And the title of it is, what is it? Vintage Lace. It's Since it's a leaf from a vineyard, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it seemed appropriate. Perfect. And All it right. enriches your life. That's it. It doesn't, you know, like you say, sometimes I think the gift of being an artist is not in what you do, but in the fact that you can see the beauty that's around you everywhere. Absolutely. And that, and that is such a wonderful thing to be able to share with other people. Changes your life. Somebody did that for me one time. I had an instructor one time after I was an adult and taking classes, and he also taught children, and that was the focus of his class, and it changed my life. Oh, that's fantastic. I thank you again for your time, all three of you, and please, let's, uh, let's show some great community support on May 20th at the Art Gala at the Hinton Center. Thank you, folks. Have a great day. Thank you. Uh, thank you.